On Wednesday afternoon, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders told reporters that Trump was pointing out the hypocrisy in the media before reading a lengthy statement citing examples of alleged bias. On Thursday morning, Trump made another complaint about the media's coverage of special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. The New York Times reported on Wednesday night that former acting FBI Director Andrew McCabe was told by Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein that Trump originally asked him to reference Russia in Rosenstein's memo about Comey's firing. The memo, which was released by the White House, focused on Comey's handling of the Hillary Clinton email investigation. According to the Times, McCabe believed that Rosenstein gave Trump cover in citing Clinton and not Russia as the reason for Comey's ouster. Not that it matters but I never fired James Comey because of Russia. Trump tweeted Thursday morning. The corrupt mainstream media loves to keep pushing that narrative, but they know it is not true. But two days after Comey's firing, Trump told NBC's Lester Holt that the Russia thing played a role in his decision. When I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made-up story, Trump said. NBC News highlighted the remark in a response to Trump's tweet. Trump also reportedly told the Russian ambassador after firing Comey, I faced great pressure because of Russia. That's taken off. On Wednesday night, Trump also tweeted yet another falsehood while endorsing Rep. Dan Donovan, RNY, in the race to represent New York's 11th Congressional District. Donovan is running against former Rep. Michael Grimm, who resigned after he was convicted for tax-related crimes. There is no one better to represent the people of NY and Staten Island, a place I know very well, than at Rep. Dan Donovan, who is strong on borders and crime loves our military and our vets, voted for tax cuts and is helping me to make America great again, Trump wrote. Dan has my full endorsement, but according to Politico, Donovan voted against Trump's tax cut bill three times.